Hi listeners, welcome to your daily cup of coffee with Charu, where hopefully with a hot cup of coffee we discuss how to tackle the day ahead based on the astrological aspects of the day. My name is Charu and I'm your host on this journey. So let's dig in. Today is the first day of the astrological new year. Happy spring equinox to my friends in northern hemisphere and happy fall equinox to my friends in southern hemisphere. The center of the visible sun is moving above the equator, equalizing the day and night. We're literally coming over the water, finishing a year of living a world we had never imagined, let alone seen before. Astrologically, we are beginning a new cycle, a new year, and what a way to start. Happy Navros to those who celebrate that. Happy spring cleaning to those who actually do that. I don't know any of you. Parents of this day of astrological year will color the rest of the year ahead for us and what a strong aspect we are going to experience today. First of all, at the first degree of Aries, we are asked to emerge out of the sea, out of the collective consciousness and to develop our own individual paths. The Sambian symbol for this first degree of Aries is a woman just risen from the sea and a seal is embracing her. The cute seal that we see on the woman who's just emerging out of the water isn't there for its charming appeal. It's a symbol of evolution. Seals have more in common with bears than dolphins before they evolved. The carnivorous ancestors of today's seals actually walked on land with sturdy feet. Seals streamlined over years to move through water without resistance. But that came at a very heavy cost of losing all their limbs. Today, as the woman emerges from the water, she's asking this evolved seal to finally come out of the water and try to walk on earth. Em- this emergence of the wa- of the women from the water, the first sign of individual action that we are going to take, because that's what the AD season is for. AD season is all about starting afresh, letting go of the past, pioneering something energetically, spontaneously, full of enthusiasm and some impulsiveness. You want to use this to get going, to get physically going, get some quick actions through, get some quick turnarounds. It will require us to be assertive. It will require require us to take on a challenge it will require us to do something individually which is good for us and adapt fast to situations and circumstances Aries season is very much about putting yourself first we will have Venus tomorrow moving in Aries as well it will require you to promote you and your individuality being comfortable taking care of yourself and your well-being being comfortable in your own skill in your own skin telling it like it is having courage to act on your own beliefs being a little bit brazen even sometimes we are going to overstep a bit of social norms when sun is in Aries we will be a little bit more brazen a little bit more open a little bit more selfish but that is morality in this season you need to take care of yourself there is going to be a lot of uh, strength physical strength there is a return of physical strength there is a return of will to power and we will see this as a part of emergence from an old cycle and as i said the sambian astrological symbol shows emergence of the women from the water the first sign of individual actions emerging from a womb but it's not a powerful act in itself just a small step forward from today we're just taking a small step forward a seed which is still embraced by the seal the seal in the Sambian astrological symbol represents regression it represents compromise. So a first small step might still be clad in self self-doubt. It might still be at the risk of regression to old patterns. It will be still surrounded by the ghost of past failures or regressive fears in, for, in some ways. Yet the first step forward nonetheless is happening out of the collective consciousness. We are moving to individual steps. This is impulse to make a first statement. This is ingress to the new year and it comes with North Node in Gemini. The North Node in Gemini conjunct moon which is happening today clearly points to shift in emotional patterns. Every time moon and North Node they come together and they come together sometimes once or even twice a month. They change our emotional patterns to make us walk on the path that North Node, our road to destiny, wants us to 
walk so there is an emotional pattern that needs to be dropped released and a new emotional pattern needs to be developed whenever these two meet every month and their meeting together on the day of the new year will color the whole new year that means that the success of the year ahead is very much on dependent on us changing an emotional pattern and that emotional pattern will emerge today tomorrow in some exaggerated way with these two together when north node and or rahu and uh, moon come together our emotions go through an extreme situation so there could be a uh, emotional situation that can come up a little bit um, ahead of you today where we'll have to learn to objectively look at the situation excluding the past opinions and beliefs we had about that it could be in your personal life it could be a conversation with somebody it could be something that comes from within because our imagination is really exaggerated when these two are together which we can use in a very positive fashion by writing something by communicating something by creating something very vivid because our vivid Uh, our dreams as well as our imagination will be very powerful and vivid the subconscious is very powerful when these two are together and it needs an outlet so this over the top emotional energy can bring you in a situation where you'll be prompted to take a different tact when it comes to that situation it clearly points to a shift in emotional patterns whereby our communication our thoughts our statements they need to be based more on the current facts and information before us versus our belief from the past north node in gemini the road to success is to innovate is to move forward is to approach a situation in a different fashion where we sort of have to move away from the past belief system and being stuck in an old thought process in a old belief system will not help us at this time we have a treasure of expanded consciousness and on basis of that we are creating a new way of walking our destiny path through inquisitive through agility of mind through an approach which is built on new intellect so this year offers us multiplicity of choices variety of options but it will require us to use new skills and a discipline of the mind to make full use of these opportunities which are ahead of us we will meet our destiny and we will make some new roads but it will be based on new skill set it will be based on an analysis it will be based on clear thinking it will be based on our own mental attitude which will be very helpful in pursuing a new path more than the path the approach and the thinking towards the path will be much much more important to us in this part the the brain and the thought process and the analytical thought process behind our path becomes more important and the words that we use to define our path become much more important not not in gemini is fraught with communication learning teaching writing advertisement interactive social scene short distance travel we'll be sort of learning to use the world and see the world in more simpler terms the power of now is the is the book i recommend with not not in gemini and without overstepping the time time limit i've personally put for this uh, communication on a daily basis i would just say move into this with a more playful energy with more flexibility use the gemini road to success which is being media savvy relying on information that is currently available to you use this time to sort of move away from the belief system in your personal life which were blocking maybe moving forward and that pattern will come up today we have mars and saturn making a beautiful trine today which will help us follow through the ideas the trine will become exact today tomorrow but today you'll feel it you can follow through on those ideas that are coming through you can follow through on your imagination you can follow through on the vivid dreams that are coming up and make use of that in a creative fashion and again connect 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 gemini is always about connections and airy season is all about using those connections to do something that you have not done before use the next one month of airy season to bring about an old phase to conclusion and courage to pioneer something new something unique that is individual to you 
we have Venus in the last degree of Pisces today. Venus in the last degree of Pisces is the symbol of prism where a goddess is sitting with a prism in her hand and she's waiting for the first ray of sun which is represented by the first degree of Aries to fall on it. And with that one single ray of light which is the collective consciousness it is split into multiple differentiated streams. Each one of us is going to move into this multiple differentiated streams over the course of next one month, each one of its own colors and that will color 2021 as well as the next one year of astrological year for us. That's Pisces season giving way to Aries. And in short, you got to do you now. You got to make sure that that you is based on current moment. It's based on current information versus the past belief of a person, a religion, a loved one. Choose to have a blank slate based on here and now. This was the podcast for today and I'll see you tomorrow again. Have a great day ahead of yourself. Thank you.